brand new exteriors, brand new interiors. We're going to get to the interiors in a second because we're super excited about that. First time ever in the industry to have true interior design. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But I wanted to start off with the all new paint package that we're doing. It's standard on the cap. It's going to be automotive paint. Do a clear coat on it. But if you notice, it looks like it's white fiberglass. That is not. That's actually paint. It's everything off. But something new for this first time ever is that we actually are using polar white exterior on the fiberglass. So for the last four model years, we've had the Aztec gray. And not that it wasn't beautiful, but uh, what's old is new again. So we're going to bring back the white. I think it really gives it a whole new look and feel. And uh, we're super excited about that. Um, some of the features that we to talk about seismic, there's a lot of bells, whistles, and industry firsts that we continue to do. Um, starting off with our Morad of our five-star handling package. And we firmly believe here at Jayco that safety is one of the biggest criteria that you can have. And we back that up with our industry-leading two plus three warranty. You're probably going to hear me talk about that a little bit. That is the best industry. Or, um, warranty in the business. So starting off with this, this is our Moride Kingpin. What's nice about this is when you get the bucking and chucking when you're going up and down the road, this won't transfer that shock into your hitch or into your pickup truck. So you actually get three inches front to back and an inch and a half side to side of rubber pin box. That's what the RPB stands for. So that starts off our five-star handling and we'll get into that when we get over to the suspension, how we have our Goodyear tires, our Dexter axles, and, and some components. Another new feature, a lot of our customers have been asking about this, and what they don't know is working on this for four years, actually, is we finally have hydraulic electric, which we had some through manual and we were designing this equalizer system or talking about it with the brand equalizer um, we wanted to make sure that we had a true manual override because a lot of systems out there that's where they fail they just don't have a true manual override so if you ever get in that predicament where you can't get to where you're going when you're ready to pack up and leave you're stuck with our system we actually can manually override it and that's due to uh, the fluid that equalizer uses it's actually a semi-synthetic it's a blended transmission fluid it's dextron 3 and that's exactly what from the manufacturer that's exactly what we're using in it so don't know if you know this either um, there are manufacturers that wear a sticker on either the coach or inside of the baggage door that says their system may be an option below 30 degrees Let's face it, if we're going to do any cold weather camping or extended season camping, we can't have that. So by using this fluid, we can go colder into the um, temperatures. But it is an equalizer system. The other thing I want to point out about is if you notice right down here, you see the this and you see the sand pads. They're actually a 12-inch diameter, and they actually have steel gussets all the way around for added strength. So if you think about this, these jacks alone are rated at 17,500 pounds. You also will notice that that's a steel shaft into a steel housing. The other jacks are rated at 7,500 pounds, so more than enough lifting capabilities on this. We're super proud about it, and um, like I said, we listen to customer feedback. This is something that uh, we actually use on our motorhome product is the Equalizer brand, so we're talking about uh, a motorhome feature onto fifth wheels, okay? The other thing I'd like to point out over here is we're really, really, really gonna be talking about solar this year. You know, we've been doing solar prep. We've been doing solar prep on the side of the coach. We've also been doing on the roof. Now we have an option on the order forms for 2020 to offer our new Overlander package. What that does for you is it gives you the ability to do a 190 watt solar panel we actually have a second option we can do for a second 190, giving you 380 watts of solar power. Now, think of it this way, folks. Um, when we're talking solar, some people get very scared because it's fear of the unknown. Remember that the easiest way that you can talk about solar is you have fuel and you have a gas tank, okay? So the sun's gonna be your fuel, 
and the batteries or how many you have are going to be your fuel tank. So if you don't have enough battery but you have plenty of sun, you're only going to be as good as what your fuel tank will allow. So if you notice this, we started this five years ago with the split battery tray. So we can give you room up to four to six batteries depending if they're group 24, group 27, or even six volt batteries. So whatever combination of batteries that you guys want to talk about, we've got you covered. In fact, we do that in all of our luxury fifth wheels. All of our seismics, north points and pinnacles have that neat feature. So the Overlander solar package, new for this year, we listened, and now we have it from the factory, okay? That's awesome. You wanna take us around the side? Yeah, I'd love to. By the way, if you wanna take a peek in here, this will show you, we talked about the uh, hydraulic pump and the reservoir. And then right in the side of there, we have the valves that we can crack open with a wrench. And then we have right on top of the motor, right on the side, we can take our drill and we can actually manually override those coaches like what we were talking about, okay? Good shot of the exterior. That's our polar white with our new graphics package. Monochromatic package, you know, um, in years past, we've done some blues, we've done some different colors in there. But this color scheme right here will go with every pickup out there. I don't care if you have a white truck, a red truck, a black truck, a blue, it just seems to go with everything. So we went with the monochromatic. So polar white exterior, new for this year, all new graphics package, okay? Um, inside of here, we talk about our pass-through storage. We have our central vacuum system. We even come with a little, uh, little tire pressure gauge right there, okay? Lincoln, can you see there all the way in the back with that five gallon jug? I was hoping some customers might comment, what the heck is that? Well, <laughs> guess what? We know about fresh water in RVs. We know about gray water. We know about black water. But how come we don't do anything about fresh drinking water? Well, let me tell you, another industry first right here. We are doing fresh water drinking station on everything. Okay, from, uh, from our Eagle lineup all the way through North Point, Pinnacle, Seismic, every single one of those luxury brands will come with that five gallon container. So if you wanted to bring uh, three, four, five of them with you, or let's say for example that you were um, set up at a campground seasonally six months of time, you could even have your Culligan man come out and change those out for you. So what we've done, we just actually take, um, we take the line we run it all the way up in the luxuries. We're doing it in the pass-through storage. In our Eagle product, though, we're actually putting the jug under the island. So we're going to run it there. We're going to run the line all the way up. And when we get on the inside, I'm going to show you the little spigot that we have right by the sink. And it's just like what you have at, house, at your house for uh, purified water. So no more having to bring uh, cases of bottled water with you. And near and dear to what Ashley and I always talk about is the environment. We think it's a big deal is... You know, think how many 40, 50, maybe even 60 different plastic bottles that we're saving. And we know we were just out at the Pomona show this weekend. How many of those can we keep out of the ocean, right? Mm -hmm. So 40, 50, 60 plastic bottles per five gallon. And what if you're going through three, four, five of them, okay? So that's a neat deal. And then where we have a little special trick going on that nobody's ever been able to pull off, if we have a refrigerator option, for example, our Whirlpool 21 cubic foot residential, that's the 110, comes with a 1200 watt pure sign inverter, that has ice and water and digital display. So yes, you have ice making capabilities, fresh water. We actually tied that line right up into the refrigerator. So now think about that. Now you have your ice. You don't have to worry about running out of ice. You don't have to worry about purified ice. And you have another drinking station right in the side of the door. Okay? That's awesome. Um, and when we go inside, we'll show you what that looks like. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. um, I noticed the step above. You know, this is her claim to fame right here. You should see how strong. <laughs> I'm so strong. Is. Are you Watch ready? Watch this. One finger application. It's insane. Is that Easy. not great? Huh? So to get in a little bit more in depth about the Moride step, and we love it. We have a great partnership with Moride. They've been around a long time, Jaco and us, we've partnered with them a long time. But I will tell you that some of our engineers, some of those product directors, we were kind of instrumental in this step because that zero G technology that you see there, you know, magic, oh, that was something that we really pushed for. The first version of this would come down and if you slipped out of your hand, I mean, it's just gonna come down and crack you one right in the skull. Mm -hmm. Well, can't have that for the customers. So 
Another thing we did is if you notice these little little toes right here on the end, the first version came way out to here. Well, if you think about it, who doesn't camp barefooted, open-toed shoes? If you came along in the middle of the night and stubbed your toe on that, not good. So that was another thing that we asked their engineers, hey, look, we're going to go back. We're going to play with the stair a little bit back at Jayco, and we're going to come back with some ideas for it. And that was another idea that we had at Jayco was let's cut those feet back. That's how you adjust it for stability at the campground. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're not always right. on level ground. And uh, that's another thing that we came back. Lastly with that, if you've ever noticed, manufacturers that have this step, sometimes they leave a little piece of the equation out. Sometimes they won't even give you a grab handle. Sometimes the grab handle is good for the first step, and then you're walking down the steps behind you like that. So if you notice this oversized grab handle, yep, that's what we're going to put standard on all of our coaches, no question. Okay? Got a little step light right there as well, the little blue LED, so it doesn't make sense to uh, not be able to see your lights at the campground. So, Ashley, if you want to talk about anything else on the outside, you want to talk about the rest of the five-star handling package? Yeah, why don't we, we go inside? Before we inside? So, we talked about the Moride uh, Kingpin. We start off our foundation. When we talk about this five-star handling package, um, it's one of those cases where, you know, like we talked about safety. So we, we really like as much American-made product as we can get here. I mean, another reason why we back it up with the two plus three warranty. And remember on that two-year warranty, um, that second year of data is critical to Jayco because manufacturers that only give you a 12-month warranty, at 12 months in one day, they're out of warranty. So not only is it not great for the consumer, but more importantly, where do they get that second year of data? And we use that second year of data to improve our products every single year. It might mean that I need to put an extra bracing in the front end or maybe something in the chassis or a cross member here or there. So it's really critical for that second year. So we start off with American made Dexter axles. Okay, that starts our foundation. We're gonna run what is referred in the industry, anybody that knows um, shackles, okay? We've talked about shackles in the past. These are the half inch shackles. A quarter inch shackle will be about this large. We use the half inch. What's really neat about that is it's greasable. So in other words, it's a wet bolt system. Um, we have bronze bushings, fully greasable for because they do articulate. Um, we also use the Moride CRE 3000. And if you think about that being a system, um, you will not see mix match products on our lot. In other words, I won't have a different manufacturer's kingpin with a different manufacturer's suspension. Um, Ashley, iPhone, right? You have iPhone, an iPhone? Yep. Okay. Using could it right I, now. Could I use my Samsung charger in your iPhone? No. Work? No. You could so not. It's, what you're telling me, it's a system? It really actually has to go together like Correct. peanut butter and jelly. You right? are smart. <laughs> more like CRE 3000, more like Kingpin. So we talked about that. We talked about the suspension. We talked about the shackles. Um, last but not least, we also have Goodyear Endurance Beast tires. Um, I'm a, I join a lot of the blogs and the, and, the, and the forums and groups and it's funny, people still say, you know, why can't manufacturers give us a tire that's going to last, something that's not going to explode on me, you know, 10 miles away from the dealership when I take, it, uh, take control of my new vehicle, if you will. That is the Goodyear Endurance Beast tire. We're talking speed rated, or actually it's rated at 87 miles per hour, okay, which is unheard of because the typical tire that you're going to see out there is 65 miles per hour. Okay, what's crazy, and I don't think they want me to tell you this, but I think they tested it to almost 140 miles an hour on a test track, not with a fifth wheel behind it, but they actually tested it. So it shows you, um, you know, the Goodyear executives actually came to Little Middlebury. How many people in Middlebury now? How many uh, thousand? Eight? Yeah. 8,000 people in Big Middlebury, right? The metropolis. We actually had Goodyear executives fly here, meet with us, and we actually helped design that tire with Goodyear. They started with a blank slate. So we've been doing it now for two model years, just over two model years. And I will tell you the uh, the response from the customers yeah. is huge. American made, can't beat American that. American made, you can't beat it. So five-star handling package. We talked about our new uh, hydraulic leveling system. We talked about all the new features on the outside. So let's go into inside. Uh, this, inside, let's go into 4212. Sure. This is the size of 4212. This floor plan actually is the longest standing floor plan we have in the seismic arsenal. Uh, this was the first floor plan we did, as we called it, a 15 and a half, a 2015 and a half. But one of the things that really stands out to people this year is the true interior design. How many times have we heard people say, you know, you need a woman to design these? Well, guess what? We do. We have Stacy Stewart. If you've ever noticed anybody's furniture out there saying Thomas Paine, 
we actually worked with the manufacturer and we are giving shout out to Stacy Stewart on that because she has been at Jayco for 30 plus years. She owns a Jayco camper. She camps all the time. So who better to listen to than, hey, Stacy Stewart. This is Stacy Stewart Designs in here. And if you notice, Chip and Joanna Gaines, we talk about Flip or Flop, we talk about all the shows on HDTV, which we all watch religiously, believe it or not. Yep. Look at this modern farmhouse. That is an interior design choice. What do I mean by that? Because when we go into the 4113 behind us, we're going to talk about the cashmere interior design. The choice comes, normally what you would find is uh, a manufacturer would give you two or three choices, and it would be brown, browner, or brownest. Well, we don't do that because if you choose the modern farmhouse, you will have a different countertop, you'll have different flooring, you'll have different furniture stylings, different window treatments, different fascias, all this changes. The best way I can always describe it uh, to a customer, for example, we were just out at the Pomona show, right, and it was fantastic. Um, if you had two model homes side by side, and one was in Modern Farmhouse and one was in Cashmere Cottage. Same floor plan, but they have two totally different looking fields when you go on the inside. That's what we wanted to accomplish, and that's what we have for 2020. Modern Farmhouse started off in their Eagle product and literally took the industry by storm. You know, we were thinking, oh, is it going to be 20% of our business, 15%? Now it's 50-50 with that in our traditional look. So if you like the traditional, we have cashmere for you. If you like the modern look, we have modern form house. But the biggest thing is choice, okay? Don't get hamstrung into just a decor because this is interior design, okay? From start to finish. Another neat thing that we talk about in here where it's a, it's a way to save money actually, but uh, we don't, we actually spend the money. If you notice, we have the MCD day and night shades. So, like I said, if I'm sitting there at the show and the sun's coming down pretty hard and I pull this down, it really knocks the heat down, uh, gets the sunlight out of here. But, you know, a lot of manufacturers are just giving you a lockout shade. And last time I checked, it's pretty hard to look out the window during the day with the shade down. So, once again, we're not going to save the money. We're going to do it right. These are the same shades we use in a lot of our big high-end diesel motorhomes as well. If you look over here, Lakin, can you pan in on that a little bit? That is our Bluetooth switch. So BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy Switch. That is not hardwired. That is actually Bluetooth signal in the coach. So imagine a watch battery. That's literally what's inside of here. And it can be replaced. It just comes with a little tool. You pop the back off, put it in there. I think they're good for at least two, two to three years right now is what the battery life is on. But what's cool about that is now I can control my ceiling lights, I can dim the lights from here, I can do a lot of the functions without having to pull out my smartphone because, you know, if you have a smart coach, it's probably going to have an app to it. That app is going to download on your phone and then I can control the functions from here. Well, that's great, but do I really want to pull my phone out every time when I can just touch a switch? So redundant for redundant. We're going to have manual switches in here to be redundant. We're going to have Bluetooth switches to be redundant. I'm going to have your cell phone to be redundant. And then we're going to talk about when we get inside of here. Our J command. There is our J command powered by BM Pro. So, for example, I'm going to turn the lights out real quick. But when I first walk in the coach, why in the world would I want to start searching for the lights all over the place? So I can just walk in here to my BM Pro, turn on all the lights. Now I can start working on the coach and what I need to do, okay? If you notice this here, it's as simple as this. There's my number one air conditioner. I just turned on, you hear the whisper quiet air, how quiet that is? That's actually on high right now. So we don't have to be screaming at each other inside of the coach to have a normal conversation. What's really cool from there is if I go into my temperature settings, there's my main, there's my second AC, and there's my optional third AC. So two ACs, 15,000, they're standard. But if I option in the third AC, what's really cool, this is an industry first and only, okay? I can run all three of my air conditioners, 15,000 at the same time. No energy management system if I'm plugged into 50 amp short power. That's something we started five years ago. There are a couple manufacturers that are actually doing it now. 
but they don't have three 15,000 ACs. It's like a 15, I think it's like a 13.5, and I don't know, maybe it's an 11.5, I'm not quite sure, but it's not three 15s. So you can see how simple that is. If I wanna go over into my lights, or, or my tanks, I'm sorry, I can go into my tank functions, water pump, electric water heater, gas water, just all of the touch of a button. If I wanted to go into my lights, so for example, kitchen accent. If I wanted to dull that down, bring that up, you see this light right underneath here? What if I didn't want that? What if I wanted just barely on? See how I can control that? All these lights, or the majority of them, all have the ability to have dimmer switches on them. See how my living room lights, see how I'm dimming that down inside the coach? I can go all the way down if I want. Or guess what? Remember that Bluetooth switch over there? I don't have to get up and use my tablet. I've got it right by the sofa. Okay. So 2020 Seismics comes standard with J Command powered by BM Pro. All Smart luxuries. coach, yep. app on your phone, light switches via Bluetooth. Bluetooth on the walls, and then the panel. Yep, you have the app for your phone as well. Yep. So another neat feature that most people won't know yet, but they're starting to find out because these have been hitting the uh, dealer's lot since early August, is TPMS. Um, tire pressure monitor system. Um, it's not fantasy, it's reality. We have it standard on every one of our uh, luxury coaches, North Point, Pinnacle, Seismic. So when you take possession of your new Seismic, when you're getting the, the unit checked out, they're doing the pre-delivery inspection, we actually send the TPS monitors in the owner's packet. The dealer's supposed to be able to take it out, or he will be able to take it out. He's supposed to be putting it on, so remind him to put them on for you. We do all the Bluetooth uh, pairing here at the factory, and then they screw them right onto your valve stem. And now, as you're going down the road, it will ping you about everything. It's every 10 minutes what's in motion, but if you have a, an event, for example, inside of the uh, Smart Coach, we actually have pre-programmed in uh, the PSI as well as a heat range. So if it starts to get beyond those parameters of the heat or the tire event, the pressure's going down, it will send an alert to your phone as well, okay, once we download Why that. don't we take a peek at okay. the bedroom, and then we'll talk garage in this one, and we'll head over to the second floor plan. Take a look at it. We started this over a year ago. We did the new surround up here. It actually started in the seismic, and then we introduced it into the pinnacle line. So first walk-in shower. Notice how large it is right here. I mean, it's just gigantic. We have the pressed countertops in here. Instead of the laminate, we take uh, the uh, light around the mirror. So you can see all these different opportunities to, uh, to accent the coach as well. Okay. Dual access into the bedroom. It's a kind of a neat little feature. This always gets everybody's attention right here. So. So now you've got your 39 inch, 40 inch TV up front, okay? If you like the natural light to come in, you can just push it down. I can get it down, or not. <laughs> it's going up. We have the MCD day night shades in here as well. King size bed, this is the only floor plan where we have a bed slide. All the rest are gonna be your north south beds. Um, with a wardrobe slide, so this will give you the full slide up here. Okay, we've got the sliding doors here. We have the washer and dryer prep up here. Notice you have your hookups here. This is a king size bed, which is an option in all seismics. No, notice another Bluetooth switch over here by the bed, so you don't have to go reaching for your phone again. You don't have to go out to the tablet again. Uh, let's say you hear somebody outside, you can turn on your exterior lights from there, maybe scare them away. Um, inside the door here, here's another Bluetooth switch. So you're going to see those all the way through the through the unit. The other thing is that we have a little moth joining us today. Notice up here on the uh, on the ceiling, that is a 4G Wi-Fi repeat Wi-Fi repeater. Excuse me. What's cool about this is this is just expanding your smart coach experience. So um, everything's fully scalable. I actually, if you wanted to, you could go to, uh, let's say, AT&T, Verizon, whoever you're doing business with, with your cell phone, you get a, a, put it as part of your data plan or a separate data plan. You will get a SIM card. You take that and put the SIM card in there. 
now you have full cellular capability. So for example, let's say that I was two hours away from my campground, but I had cellular service not only at the campground, but on my phone. I could actually get on my phone and I could turn on my air conditioners from two hours away or further. As long as you have the cell connection, you're good, but at least it'll cool down your coach before you ever get there. So it just shows you some of the capabilities that we're working on. And uh, in our R&D department, we have several more things that we're working on that uh, you'll see coming in the future that we're gonna scale this uh, smart coach to. So um, anything else in here? You wanna go back out there and we can, uh, we can check it out. Line about garages and toy haulers. Oh, and I'm not even going to try because I'll mess it up. Well, Chris but Parth you got to share. It up, so. <laughs> hey, Chris. Um, so I always, I always find it ironic when people say, you know, ooh, toy hauler. Ah, ah. But I always ask this. And now, if you're going to, if you were going to build or buy a new house, would you build or buy a new house without a garage for resale value? Well, of course you wouldn't. Yeah. But why would you ever buy an RV without one? Right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I have all this going on. I have this luxury. I have all these features. I have this beautiful interior design. So now I have my garage back here. So come on back. Let's take a look. Standing on this floor, what's really cool about it, it's a first in the industry and it's an only in the industry. We talk about how we vacuum bond and laminate our sidewalls and we're very proud of that. It's a, it's a long process, it's an expensive process. Um, it takes around 16 minutes in a vacuum seal bag, 144 tons of pressure. We call it our stronghold VBL or vacuum bond lamination. So not only do we do it in our sidewalls, but there's a lot of toiler manufacturers that don't even insulate the garage floor. So this is two inch block foam vacuum bonded and laminated, okay? Doesn't sound like a big deal, but I will tell you all that heat cold transfer that's coming right up through so the now bottom. when your kids are sleeping out second here. Second living room, second bedroom, because here's the thing. I tell people all the time, we don't make toy haulers. I'm not a toy hauler. Uh, we're not built like one. We don't look like one, but most importantly, we're not warrantied like one. So this is a high-end luxury fifth wheel. Just happens to have a garage. In fact, this is what continues to make this floor plan so popular. We talk about a half bath. How about two full baths? What a great place to bring just the dogs in from the beach, get their sand off their feet, whatever. You can just wash them off the same with the kids. So we've got uh, we've got two full baths. People sometimes, when I'm at shows, they'll say, why's that sink so high? Well, think about it. If I had a side-by-side -side or anything, if that sink's lower, I can't use the whole link or you know the garage so this is actually raised up so I can drive all the way in here and we also know that a stock uh, say Polaris Ranger about 64 inches 64 and a half this is 66 inches from there to there so I can drive it all the way up here and utilize this garage space okay um, these little things we didn't talk about them it's crazy this all goes with the smart system this little dude right here is called a thermistor Okay, we don't have thermostats in this coach anymore because that's Bluetooth. Everything works right off of here. So that's gonna control the temperature for here. I can do it all from my phone or I can do it all from the tablet. So you're gonna see these little doodads all the way throughout the coach. That's what they're called, thermistors, no more thermostats. Awesome. Okay, you wanna go check out the uh, other interior design choice? Let's do We're that. We're gonna go over to our 4113. Uh, this has been our number two seller. We're going to go into the patent pending number one selling floor plan awesome. here at Seismic. Mike, while we're walking over there, talk to us about party decks. Yes. So these two floor plans have a side patio. Not all of them offer it, but these two floor plans do. What's really cool is this ramp door, when it's set up, typically you're going to be 1,500 pounds in the patio position. Ours is rated at 1,800. But where it really gets really tricky and slippery is on the side one. Typically, 1,200 is about the max on the side patio. Ours is rated 1,800 pounds on our side patio as well. So, once again, anything's worth doing, worth doing a little bit better. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. So, by the exterior look again, dual pass through storage. I don't know if these are open, but that one I'm off. 
really need on this floor plan, typically what you're gonna find, okay? You're gonna find the one pass-through storage. The reason we have a patent pending on this floor plan right now is the dual pass-through storage. That's one aspect of this floor plan. It's not, not the only reason, but the byproduct of when we show you on the inside of the elevated kitchen is that we get a dual pass-through. So there's nobody in the industry that can do it. There's nobody that's uh, doing anything like that out here. 40,000 BTU furnace instead of a 35. Two black tank flushes instead of one. It's amazing how many times you see one black tank flush on a toy hauler just for the main bath. So all of our half baths from five years ago to today, we have a second black tank flush. So come on in here, we'll show you the other interior design choice, which is cashmere. So for the traditional, we have more of a brown tone, but it's almost a grayish. Okay, is it gray, is it brown? It's got a little bit of hint of gray inside of it, so it's not so dark. You can see how it's a little bit lighter. Um, One thing I don't know if we called out then in the kitchen over there. We didn't because I was going to do it over here. Oh, well, I beat you to it. Maybe you should do that. <laughs> no, you can do whatever you want. But uh, we were talking about the freshwater drinking system over there. So this is the spigot. So if you think about it too, I know customers that take bottled water and fill up their big old container just to boil their pasta in. I mean, what a waste. Mm -hmm. So that's the spigot right there. The 12 volt pump is right underneath uh, the kitchen sink. We turn it on, it's gonna pressurize up the system, and now I have continuous uh, fresh water drinking as long as I don't run out of the bottles. But we do provide one from the factory. And I did notice out in the plant, Jayco logos are uh, just now starting on those the too. Yeah, cool. So you will have your own Jayco personalized, you know, sign up for them? No, yeah, I don't not, think they need that. Unless they ask, I'm not sure, right? They might, they might. So, <laughs> Elevated kitchen. Yep, this is where this cool. patent pending lies. So there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff going on underneath here that we had to contend with. But, uh, you know, a lot of people will say things like, you know, man, I really like it, but I can't reach the cabinetry. Well, okay, well, get over here, Ashley. Oh, are we calling these shorts? Uh, not calling, but uh, inferring. <laughs> but if you look at that, when you're up a good foot, almost a foot and a half, Look how much closer you are to the cabinets, okay? You have a tremendous amount of countertop space. We're using the Furion oven with the nice uh, nice uh, steel grates on it. Convection microwave is new for this year, standard. In years past, we either optioned it in as a, you know, a special or something like that, but standard equipment on that as well. All solid service countertops, real subway Same. tile. Beautiful. That's not just a, a plastic that's stuck on the wall. So we finish it all off as well. You notice the little Chris Barth uh, pull-out pan tray underneath there. Chris was very instrumental in that for us. He got that face put on so it makes it look more like a broiler down there, which is really nice for storage. We have the uh, strainer and the cutting board that you've seen popular um, in the industry. We've had that for several years now. Um, if you noticed over here too, we were talking about earlier how we had the residential refrigerator. Okay, that's an option. Standard is the 18 cubic foot gas electric Norkel. However, if you did go into this, which seems to be a little bit more popular in the Midwest as you go east, maybe sometimes when you go out west. In fact, out at the Pomona show, we had the Norkel gas electrics and everything there at the show, but it is an option. But this will light up, digital display, you'll have ice and water, and remember, Freshwater drinking system is going to be plumbed to this, not in a gas electric, in a seismic, but in this, the electric, so I can get my ice cubes and uh, fresh water. Very cool. Okay. We also put some uh, motion sensor lights throughout the coach as well. So when we're walking up the steps, this one's already on because I was standing over here, but this will go ahead and illuminate up. Remember those Bluetooth switches throughout the coach? So have another one that I can run my wardrobe slide out before I ever get there. I can turn on lights. If you notice my ceiling lights, I can control before I ever get up there. Hallway light. So very simple stuff. Um, up in the front bedroom, this is a little bit different bedroom design. Same bathroom design. You want to take a peek in there, Lakin? Same bathroom with a walk-in shower. And regardless of what interior choice, decor choice that you do or design, the bathroom's gonna stay uh, the farmhouse all the time, okay? 
coming up into here. This is what I was referring to earlier as a north-south bed. So we had a king-size bedroom slide up there with the uh, front wardrobe. 4212, that's the only floor plan you're going to get the bedroom slide. Every other floor plan is going to have the north-south bed. So we talked about Stacy Stewart earlier in the, in the broadcast, if you will. But uh, that's another thing. See her little touches on everything that we do. We've got the oversized pillows. It just fills up all that room. We have a little blue accent light. Not too much, just enough to set it off. Do the large window. You can see the size of your uh, you know, tables here for your nightstands. We have USB and 12 volt charging here. We have 110. We have another Bluetooth switch over there. There's one of those little thermistors that I was talking about. And then we have the 40 inch TV that's on a swing arm. So when you're driving down the road, it just, you know, sits up along the wall. But then if I pull it out, I can swing it over and I can put the TV over in that corner, which is an awesome viewing angle as well. What do you think? Not too shabby? <laughs> Big wardrobe here. Drawers down below, obviously we have more drawers. So you think this bedroom is gonna be smaller, but look at the amount of storage. I mean, it's kind of insane. I love it. Hey Mike. Yep. Um, I think this one popped in this question when we were in the other floor plan. Okay. The second bathroom in the garage. Yes. Is there a fan in there to help eliminate some of the steam and there all is that? not currently. Okay. We've looked into that. We haven't just because I know this sounds crazy, but it does open up into the garage mm -hmm. for fresh air and right. stuff. And a lot of times, you know, that door's down more than it's up for the patio. But Makes sense. something we could definitely look at in the future for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else do we need to share with them for 2020 size mix? What well, have we missed? Anything? I'll tell you, we're, I mean, you know, from, from the responses that we had and the, and the sales that we had at the Hershey show, the Pomona show, um, seismic just, just takes care of business at the shows. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of manufacturers do some nice things, no question. But the question that you have to ask, um, you know, is, you know, if they believe in their coaches so much, why do they put 12 month warranties instead of a two plus three or they roll it off the assembly line with, uh, you know, foreign made tires and things like that. So, you know, we put our money where our mouth is. And uh, I've heard your dad say this a few times before in the past where he says, you know, every one of these that we build, you know, I mean, we have to look at we do volume almost 50,000 units a year in quantities of one. Mm -hmm. And it's so important because, you know, I don't know whose coach this is. But I will tell you that the guys on the line, we talk about this in our product development meetings, what if that was your parents? You know, nobody builds the perfect unit, but these guys try to and gals every single day, and we back it with the industry's best warranty. So how many years in business, Ash? 50. 50 plus, 50 almost 53, plus. right? Yeah. So we're getting there, and uh, you know, like I said, we're very proud. We love Jayco, we love working at Jayco, we love the products we produce. More importantly, we love our customers. It's so nice. I mean, how many times at Hershey did we see people come up and just say thank you? Or this is our seventh Jayco, or not only did my grandparents have one, my parents have one, and now this is ours. So uh, generations of family fun, you talk about it all the time, we live it every day. And uh, I don't know, couldn't be more excited about all the new 2020 product. Awesome. Thank you, Mike. So, thank you, guys. For more information on not only the Seismix for 2020, but all of our Jayco 2020 products, you can go to jayco.com. If you still have some questions, continue to drop them below, and we'll answer them as quickly as we can. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining.